keeping up with our motto let learning be joy and teaching be pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students i am mrs sonal shadoshi from thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college teaching you geography today for grade 7 chapter 3 tides students you must have played with magnets many a times right magnetism can either pull the two objects together or push them apart depending on which way the magnets point similarly gravity is a force that acts between any two objects with mass earth have power of gravity gravity is 137 times stronger than magnetism earth can pull any objects with a mass on its side today we are going to do the power that is opposite of gravity that is called centrifugal power centrifugal force of the earth centrifugal force it is the apparent outward force on a mass when it is rotated think of a ball on the end of a string that is being twirled around in this case the ball or your body just moves in straight line that they were following originally but they appear to be accelerated away similar way since the earth rotates around its fixed axis the direction of centrifugal force is always outward away from the axis thus it is opposite to the direction of gravity at the equator so as we know what is gravity the force that attracts any other physical body having mass towards the earth or towards the center of the earth is called gravity whereas centrifugal force is exactly opposite gravity it is an outward force it acts on every object moving in a circular path when viewed from a rotating frame of reference now besides the earth the sun and the moon also have its own gravitational power the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun makes the water in the oceans bulge causing a continuous change between water levels called tides so tides are the rising of the earth's ocean surface caused by the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun acting on the oceans it is the periodic rise and fall of the water level in the sea the main reasons of the occurrence of tides are as we have seen the gravitational attraction exerted on the earth by the sun and the moon and centrifugal force created due to rotation of earth let's check it out the moon has a greater gravitational pull on the earth's tides as it is much more closer to the earth than the sun let us see how tides are formed so the moon's gravitational pull causes the oceans to bulge bulging of the ocean as you can see in blue color in the picture the oceans bulge in two places the side of the earth facing the moon and the side of the earth face facing exactly away from the moon each of these bulges causes high tide at the same time low tides occur between the two bulges the high tides are always follow the moon In the last slide I used the word high tide 
what does it mean okay we will use two classifications to define the tide types the one of them is height of the tide and another one is lunar phase today we are going to do the first one that is the height of the tide according to the height of the tide we can classify tide types into two high tide and low tide high tide is when the sea water reaches the greatest heights within the tide cycle and low tide is when the sea water reaches its lowest height within the tide cycle normally there are two high tides and two low tides for every lunar day as seen high tide occurs in those parts of the ocean which face the moon low tide occurs at the same time in those parts which are at an angular distance of 90 degree to the high tide regions so suppose high tide occurs at 0 degree meridian the exactly opposite side that is 180 degree meridian places also faces high tide and the places which is exactly at 90 degree at the distance of 90 degree faces low tide interesting fact that we should learn a day on the earth is the time it takes our planet to spin once around its own axis in relation to the sun this is known as solar day and it lasts around 24 hours however the time it takes earth to reach the same position in relation to the moon is on average 24 hours and 50 minutes known as lunar day the reason the lunar day is longer than a solar day is that the moon revolves around the earth in the same direction as earth rotates around its axis so it takes earth on an average additional 50 minutes to catch up the moon because the tidal force of the moon is more than twice as strong as the sun's the tides follow the lunar day and not the solar day it takes half a lunar day on an average 12 hours and 25 minutes from one high tide to the next so we have high and low tides nearly twice a day so suppose 0 degree a meridian place or a place on merit 0 degree meridian is facing the moon and facing high tide it takes 12 hours 25 minutes more to reach exactly opposite direction of the moon to face high tide again and 12 more hours to complete it to complete its rotation and face the moon again so that place is facing two high tides and two low tides during a day so in short there are two high tides and two low tides in a day the gap between two high tides are 12 hours and 25 minutes and the gap between high tide and low tide is 6 hours so today we have done with centrifugal force of the earth tides its introduction meaning and types of tides that is low tide and high tide now in next session we are doing types of tides according to the lunar phase and the position of the moon thank you